Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a question that many Node.js developers encounter. Our viewer asks how to reference Node.js libraries from locations other than the default Node Modules folder, specifically from a custom folder called Some Name Modules. This is a common scenario, especially when dealing with proprietary libraries that you want to keep separate. So, how can we ensure that when we use import or require, our code checks both node modules and some name modules for the libraries we need? Let's dive in and explore this challenge together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to say just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To reference Node.js libraries from a custom folder, we need to modify the module resolution paths. By default, Node.js looks for modules in the Node modules directory. To include our custom folder, we can use the node path environment variable. This variable allows us to specify additional directories for Node.js to search for modules. Alternatively, we can set the node path directly in our package.json file. This method is useful for ensuring that the path is always set when running our application. Now, when we use import or require, Node.js will check both node modules and some name modules for the specified library. In summary, by setting the node path environment variable or modifying the package JSON, we can easily reference libraries from multiple directories in our Node.js projects. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. You can't directly reference Node.js libraries from locations outside of Node modules without using a relative path. However, you can register your internal libraries in package.json. For example, if you have a module named mod1 in a folder called some names or modules, you can add it as a dependency in your package.json. Remember, the module must follow the NPM structure, including having its own package.json file. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one.